Greetings everyone, this is Lord Folger here with another Minecraft plugin tutorial video. This plugin is MMO Items, created by Team Requiem. It's a core plugin for any MMO RPG server. The purpose of the plugin is to be able to create any item, weapon, or armor that you desire, as well as many other features that would naturally exist in any MMO RPG. In this video, I'll be going over the commands, permissions, and placeholders that this plugin offers and explain what each one does. In this video, I am using Minecraft version 1.18.2 with the MMO Items update 6.7.3. I'm also using placeholder API 2.11.1 to showcase the placeholders. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. We will first be going over the commands category. So, the first command we'll take a look at is the slash MO items or slash MI since that is the, its abbreviation. So, slash MI create the type um, that the item is. So, let's say a sword. Um, and then we'll just go iron right and as you can see we successfully created iron test here's our item and we now have it and that's all there is to it so you could do slash am i create armor iron test and as you can see now we have an iron chest plate let's grab that there we go or if we want to organize that better we could do am i create let's say armor steel underscore chest plate right okay um we could do gold underscore chest plate see now with the previous steel chest plate and the gold chest plate just helps sort them out a little bit next we have slash mi copy um so we'll go to mi copy sword current id Let's say um, iron test and then so this will basically copy all the data from this sword that we just created or have been editing or whatever and then basically copies it and adds it to a new ID so that we can just have basically a, a nice layout to begin creating weapons for. so steel test there you go now we have a steel test one so then we can just change the name of that to steel test whatever we want to do um, then we have slash mi delete again category and then let's just, let's just say we don't like that steel test sword so let's just delete that that's it um, now we if we want to go back and edit something we've already done mi edit sword iron test there you go now we're back to editing it again um, slash update item stat id or uh, update item type id allows you to just update this current weapon that you have in your hand to whatever you've made it in the future. Um, so you could do MI drop um, sword. Let's again use our iron test um, the current world. And then X, Y, and Z coordinate. So we are at negative 6, 120, negative 65 and, you, and then we'll have to add in a drop chance so let's just say 100% drop chance from min to max let's say 1 to 6 and then an unidentified chance basically this will be the chance it is that it is unidentified let's just say a 10% chance right and as you can see it just drops back up we'll do that again and see it now dropped 3 the 1 to 3 or 1 to 6 chance one to six um or one to six amount of possible drops that the command could have given us um so let's just check those out um so let's just say that we have a 100 percent unidentified chance right so we grab that oh wow six so we, now we have six unidentified swords right so what we can do is just highlight that and then we can do slash mi item identify. And now it shows what we have. Go to this one, identify, you identified. And then what we can do is just congest unidentified. And if we look back at it again, it's now identified. Um, now let's say we've been using our sword for a while and it's getting hurt. We can just do slash mi repair. And it'll just the item or my item repair. There you go. 
So since it's already full durability, it can't be repaired. But if it was damaged, it would be repaired. And then what we can do is slash mi give sword, since it's, it's type. Um, the item, let's just go with a cutlass this time. Lord Fulger, the player name. Men to max, just say three of them. Unidentified, unidentified chance, let's say 10%. Uh, drop chance, 100. No soul bound. And there we go. And it just gives me three of them. Like that. So let's, just, let's do this. We have these. And then let's slash mi identify. Item identify. Identify that one. This one. And that one. As you can see, we now have a sharp cutlass. Sharp cutlass is your cutlass. Simple as that. And that is it for the item commands. Um, now, the commands for item management. This is going to be one of your most used one. Is I slash mi browse. In this one, you can actually see all the different categories. You can click into them and find them. You can directly edit them, delete them, all that fun stuff. Delete item back, create new. Let's go back to the next page and see all the categories are here now you can do slash mi item list by type so let's go armor and it'll show all the armors that are currently created and we can just, just click one just edit it um and then slash mi all items it'll show all the items that are created currently and then lastly we have mi give all Type sword, item, let's say, iron test, one of them, and then zero unidentified chance. This gives all online players weapon, uh, sword. Oh. Sword, this one needs to be capitalized. And there you go. As you can see, it's giving me sword. Okay. So that is all there is to do for the item management next is the crafting station so we'll do mi stations list um stations and as you can see now that shows the stations that are currently created so if you create more they'll show up here and then you can do slash mi stations open um oh yeah and then let's say the arcane forge so as you can see, it opened the crafting station for this. So um, everything that's inside of here, you can see it's it's now in here, and you can add that or whatever. So preview, yeah. All right, and then we have the slash mi ability. Uh, let's do blink because that's cool. Uh, Lord Fulger, so this will activate on us. Um, then we have some options here. So all these fun stuff. So cooldown, zero seconds, costs zero mana, it blips in a range of three, costs zero stamina, and it has a timer of three seconds between uses. As you can see, you can now use it. Why is the timer not working? Let's see, maybe we can set the timer to five. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, cooldown. Cooldown. Cooldown of let's forty five seconds, right? They must wait forty five seconds. Okay, my bad. All right. And then we have MI heal, which just basically heals you. Um. We'll have MI debug info. Fulger. So this will just show my class, level, mana, stamina, all that fun stuff. Um, then we have the MI list type. This shows all the different types that you can use. Loots. Um, so attack effects. Spirit. All the different staff spirits. And then ability. And this shows all the uh, abilities they have. Just a lot of them. 
So lastly, now we'll have the MMO items reload command that all plugins usually have. Um, so we could just use the reload, or what we could do is we can do reload just the recipes, or just skills, or just the stations. We have that option available to us. Then we have the slash mi generate command. So let's say Lord Vulgar, and let's just do, let's just choose one of these. We have a few options here, but the gimme, right? That will give me a random item from the ID list that we currently have. So let's do it again. Now we got a hat this time. Now we got some pants. And that's all it does. So yeah, that's it for the command section. Next, we have the placeholder section. Um, you will need placeholder API installed for these placeholders to work. And these placeholders will work in like a tab bar or a, um, a plugin like Featherboard or a scoreboard. Um, basically showing the stats of the plugin on your screen. Um, so the first one that we'll have is the MO items underscore stat and then the stat name. So basically this just shows the player stats, their overall stats. Um, then we'll have these stat underscore elements, um, then the basically underscore um, element name and then damage or fence. So this way you can show, um, let's say you're doing a lot of wood damage, it'll show it there. Um, and then the MO items underscore stat underscore defense percentage. Um, basically this just shows your um, chance um, to defend yourself. Basically, in conjunction with all the armor you're wearing, it just shows your armor value. Um, then we'll have the MO items underscore type underscore item type and then underscore name. This basically shows the um, name of the weapon that you're holding uh, or using. Um, and then the type underscore item type underscore total. This basically shows, let's say you have a healing potion. It just shows how many of those that you'll have. Um, the MO items underscore durability shows the amount of durability left on the weapon or item that you have. Um, durability underscore max shows the maximum durability that the item that you're holding has. So you can use both those in conjunction with like a, a slash in between them. So you could have the current durability value out of maximum durability value. Um, then we'll have the durability underscore ratio. This um, shows the durability of the current item as a percentage. Um, just another fancy way of showing the durability. Then we'll have the durability underscore bar underscore square. Um, this basically shows the durability bar or durability as a, as a bar. Um, then we could do bar underscore diamond, um, which basically instead of a bar, it just shows them as little diamonds or bar underscore thin, which is like a thin bar. Um, then the last two will have MO items underscore tier. This basically just shows the tier. So let's say you have a legendary sword, it'll show legendary. And then underscore ability basically shows the ability and then you can use ability underscore cooldown to show how many seconds left is on the cooldown before you can use your ability again. And that is it for the placeholders. Lastly, we have the permissions and these are fairly short and simple. So we have MO items dot admin. This basically is the permission node for all admin commands. Um, so ordinary players won't have th this permission inside your um, permissions plugin, let's say luck perms or something like that, um, admins will have it so that they can actually use this plugin. Um, the MO items dot bypass dot level is used for bypassing level restrictions on items. So let's say your sword requires you to be level 10, but you want to just test it out since you're the admin and you're just too lazy to set yourself to level 10. If you have this permission, then you can just bypass that. Um, Bypass.item allows you to bypass item permission restrictions. Um, so if you need a specific permission to hold an item, that just allows you to bypass that. Um, Bypass.ability basically allows you to bypass any ability permission restrictions. Um, Bypass.class allows you, so if your sword requires you to be a swashbuckler or something like that, uh, but you are a guardian and you just want to test stuff out, if you have that permission, you can just use them both at the same time. And then moitems.update allows you to use the update item command. 
slash of the idol. And that's it. So we've just gone over the commands, placeholders, and permissions that this plugin has to offer, and I hope that helped.